Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. Today it is all about enchiladas. Now I love all kinds of enchiladas. I like it with red enchilada sauce, a green enchilada sauce. I like the sour cream with chicken enchiladas. But guys, this one here, it's so delicious. We're going to be doing a chili gravy over enchiladas with some nice onions and cheese. It's going to be so delicious. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how easy it is to put this one together. You don't need to go to a Mexican restaurant, guys, to eat enchiladas. You can make them at home so simple and easy and flavor them just about any way you want to. I will list other enchilada dishes that I have made down below in my description box if you want to check those out. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start cooking up our ground beef and getting that flavored up. Now I have two onions here. I'm going to chop up. Half of it we're going to use in our pan here to cook with our ground beef. So I'm going to put my burner onto a medium high heat. I'm just going to add about one tablespoon of some cooking oil. And then I'm going to cook up about two pounds of ground beef. I'm going to let that start browning up. I'm going to chop up my onions here. We want big chops on these onions. So we're not going to dice them too small. And if you don't want to use onion, you can use like onion powder, onion salt, but just, you know, monitor your salt that goes in. And then just chop these up really quick. That's what I love about this chopper here is that you can just chop these really quick. Alright, I'm going to take my meat masher here, start breaking up my meat. This was one onion here, I'm going to go ahead and add. While this is cooking and breaking down and browning up, I'm going to chop up my other onion and get that one ready for the end of these enchiladas. Okay guys, as soon as this is all browned up, I'm going to bring you back. Okay, so while my meat is browning up, I'm going to go ahead and just heat up some chili. Now, I am using just chili from a can, and it's no beans. And I'm just going to open these up, put them into a medium skillet here. We're going to use these to soften up our corn tortillas first off. And it's going to add some delicious flavor to this enchilada dish here. I cannot wait, you guys. <laughs> really, I cannot wait. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plop these into here. And then I'm going to add one can of water. Alright, so I'm just going to take my can of water here and just kind of pour it between the cans. I'm trying to get as much of that extra chili that's in here out. I'll just put this on a medium high heat. And all we're doing is heating this through. Okay, my ground beef is all browned up now. What we're going to do is add some taco seasoning. Now, I have some homemade taco seasoning here that I like to use, and I'll link it down below in my description box if you want to check it out. I like to really have it on hand. Now, for every pound of ground beef that you brown, you want to put three tablespoons of taco seasoning in. So I've got about two pounds in here, so I'm going to be putting six tablespoons in. This is the only thing that we're going to flavor this with. It's got everything in it that we're going to need. All right, we're just going to mix this up. Go ahead and turn your burner off. And then just kind of make sure everything is mixed well. Okay, so I am using corn tortillas here. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it into our chili. And then I'm just going to use some tongs. Turn it over, make sure it's coated, and then we're going to take it out, shake it off just a little bit, 
I'm going to place it on a plate. We're going to take about a tablespoon or so of the ground beef mixture. Just a little bit more right there. Y'all, can y'all see those onions in there? Oh yeah, nice texture going on. So I've got a three cheese blend of Mexican cheese here. So I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon over the meat. Now just use your fingers and we're going to pull over, tuck and roll. And then we're gonna place it seam side down into our baking dish. Just as simple as that. Okay guys, I've got these all ready to go and I also made additional ones there. So I have my leftover chili sauce here and I just kind of thinned it out with a little bit of water. And what we're gonna do is take that and pour it over our enchiladas here. All right, I'm gonna cover it with some Mexican cheese here. All right, I've got my diced onions here. I wanna go ahead and cook those with the enchiladas, so they're gonna go on top of the cheese. Now you can skip this step if you don't want the onions on there. Okay, these are ready to go into our preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. We're just looking for that cheese to get nice and golden brown and the sauce just to be a little bubbly. Okay guys, I'll be right back so we can finish these off. Okay guys, I'm gonna sprinkle some green onions just to kind of give it some color and another layer of flavor. You can use cilantro if you would like. Okay, these are my restaurant style chili gravy enchiladas. I'm gonna go in for you guys. Okay guys, when you put a plate of food like this in front of your family, you don't have very much time at all to try this for you. <laughs> They are chomping at the bit back there because it smells so amazing in the house. It smells like a Mexican restaurant. I mean, we got the rice, we've got the beans, and we've got this chili gravy enchiladas. Mm. Oh my gosh, y'all. You saw how easy it was to make this. Make your own. It is very delicious. Okay. I think I'm passing my plate off. <laughs> thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my show today. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Guys, I will see you on my next episode.